Hong Kong Disneyland is back open to guests for the first time in nearly five months. Mickey, Minnie, and the rest of his friends open the park's gates overnight. Here in Central Florida, some of Disney World's hotels will be reopening on Monday. And News 6's Ezzie Castro takes a look at what the theme park reopening in Hong Kong means for our local attractions. Hong Kong Disneyland is the second Disney theme park to reopen, of course, with restrictions. And we could see those similar restrictions here at Walt Disney World when the theme parks open next month. It is my pleasure to allow all of you to believe in magic and officially announce that Hong Kong Disneyland is reopen. Visitors were welcomed back at Hong Kong Disneyland today after the park closed its gates in late January because of the pandemic. The park now requiring guests to wear a face mask and go through temperature screenings before stepping inside. In addition, everyone must book a reservation online in order to maintain crowd control. The health and safety of our guests and cast continues to be at the forefront of our mind, and our cast members have been working diligently to make sure all the necessary measures are in place for guests to enjoy a magical visit. Back here at home, we've already seen the changes at Disney Springs, and the company says the plan is to enforce those guidelines to visitors once they can return to the theme parks. In fact, starting Monday, nearly a dozen Disney hotels will be reopening after being closed since mid-March, though guests will have to do a few things first, like making a room reservation and wearing a mask in public areas except at the pool. Hotel workers may also ask guests for a temperature check as well. So Disney will begin its phase reopening of Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom on July 11th, followed by Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios on July 15th. Guests do need a reservation to enter the parks. At Walt Disney World, Ezzie Castro getting results, News 6.